puffy sleeves kind of day. I was hoping if I wore white today that I wouldn't have as much of an issue with the screen getting washed out or the camera washing out my face. Anyway, finally back to the Billionaire Bachelors episodes. I don't remember what chapter we're on. It's been a couple weeks now, right? Since I played this? Since we're a little bit distracted with Chelsea's murder mystery on Love Island? Yeah, I don't remember what was going on, but this says, the beach challenge heats up the competition. Will you win the trip to Paris? Chapter five, that's where we're at. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I forgot we were in the shower. It's not raining. As soon as I was about to leave the dressing room, I crashed into someone's incredibly toned chest, looking up to see incredibly toned chest. I feel like that's meant for a male physique, <laughs> but um, that's not what we got here. <laughs> we keep running into each other, Miss Breen. Miss Breen, again. Um, why don't you use my first name? Why don't you call me by my first name? It's not like we're strangers, but I love your reaction, the way you blush when I use it. Um. Okay, that blush is too beautiful. Her eyes roamed up and down my body again, lingering on my curves. When she saw me noticing her checking me out, she just shamelessly winked at me. Then she brought her lips close to my ear and said, You didn't like my gifts? This swimsuit looks nice, I guess, but it would look nicer on my bedroom floor. That's very forward. And at least she wasn't mad that we didn't wear the swimsuits she got for us. I forgot that that's what had happened. She got us some bathing suits. Anyway. Hmm. I wonder how Ziomara would feel if she saw us right now. What does, what does she have to do with anything? Ugh. Okay. What specifically do you like about my swimsuit? Is she partnered with her? Is that what it is? Who is Ziomara with? Let's see what happens when I say it. I wonder how Ziomara would feel. If she saw how flirty you are with me. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just thinking about what Elise would think. I'm not with Elise. I'm with that redhead guy, right? He doesn't like me. He likes someone else. And I told Elise to go away. <laughs> I'm so confused. If she saw how incredibly frustrated you get by my presence. I don't get frustrated by your presence. I get frustrated by this entire existence. <laughs> Elise and I aren't together. She picked someone else in the coupling. I don't care who she picked. The coupling choices were political. You went on a date with her, and I've seen the way she looks at you. Miss O'Sullivan, could it be that you're jealous? That depends. Do you wish I was jealous? I don't like either of these answers, because I don't really like her anymore, but I know you want me. Oh? Prove it, then. I can't believe she's pretending this heat between us doesn't affect her. I know I can drive her wild if I just... Do nothing because we are not spending gems through this uh, story. Admit she's right. You're right. I know I am. Next time I'd prefer a more physical demonstration. I, I'm confused why they don't give you the opportunity to cut things off when you want to. You know? I'd be very open to that. Contestants, immediately go to the beach. <clears throat> Ooh, sea dudes, jet skis, whatever. These little animations, they're so goofy. Contestants, it's time to reveal the theme of this week's challenge. Although you've probably already figured that out. A jet ski challenge? Exactly. So here are the rules. Five miles from here are six artificial islands. One island per couple, but you cannot go at the same time. The first to compete will be the girls. They must race each other and choose an island. Once they get there, they will massage their partner and that's when their boy can set off. What if you're not with a boy? I guess everyone kind of is at this point. I don't know. The first two couples who both make it to their island will win a prize. For the winning couples, there is a special prize. A romantic date in the city of love, Paris. This prize must be mine. 
Mackenzie, because you aren't in a couple, you won't participate in this challenge. But do not despair, you're the only immune for elimination of the next coupling. Who cares? I've already been to France. Nice attitude. Now, get ready, because when I say go, you better run for those jet skis and dart at full speed through the waves until you find your island. Oh god. <laughs> ready? Set. Go! Oh, she just... What? Out of my way, loser. She pushed me to the ground. Is that not cheating? Ouch, that had to hurt. They're, they're not gonna say anything about it? Like, cheating? This is the second time the fans have seen Ziomara sabotage you. They're starting to wonder whether you'll ever stand up to her. Probably not, because I'm not gonna pay for it. She won't get away with it this time. We love the sound of that. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm going to even out the game. I'll let it go. Again. Eat my dust, bitches. <laughs> oh my god. The way that they're riding these? What? <laughs> now I just need to get to one island as fast as possible and call William. I absolutely have to win the final prize. Timed choices? Okay, there are rocks on the right. Which way should I go? Left. Phew, I dodged it. There are rocks on the left. Which way should I go? Right. Oh, they give you five seconds. That's a long time. Phew, I dodged it. Okay, another one. There are rocks on in front of me. Which way should I go? Either way, left, dodged it. Okay, got to an island. <laughs> yes, I'm first. Okay. Josa, William, get your butt here. I'm first. Josa and William and Ziomara and Sophia for winning the second challenge of Love and Billions. As promised, you won a romantic date to Paris. But there is something we've omitted to tell you. The billionaires of the winning couples can choose to go to Paris with someone else. Ooh, okay. So William is gonna pick that girl that he has a crush on. And then I have a feeling that, uh, I forget her first name. Miss O'Sullivan, she's gonna pick me, maybe? Maybe she won't, and it won't matter. Instead of their partner. <gasps> William, which bachelorette do you choose to whisk away to Paris? I knew the second I had the change, there was only one person I'd want to share it with. The girl who has made my heart beat this entire contest. Natasha. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Everyone seems shocked by his choice. Except you, Josa. Why? Could there possibly be a secret we don't know about? I had a feeling he liked Natasha, so it doesn't surprise me. But I'm totally fine with it because William and I are just friends. They chose that for me. I didn't necessarily want to be just friends with him. Well, this is how the game is played. The couples come together and break apart. Speaking of which, Sophia, that's her name, Sophia. It's your turn to choose. With whom do you want to go to the city of love? I think William has the right idea. We're in this reality show to find love, and we will never find it if we don't switch partners. Oh. She's mad. I think this is a good occasion to getting to know someone else better. That sentence, though, that was terrible. I choose... Josa. Aww. Oh, she's so angry. I can't believe it. I just... I can't. What is it about her? Well, maybe because I'm not freaking rude? Wow, what a twist of events. <laughs> Seem like that now the billionaires are going after what they want. Seem like that now the... What is with the grammar in this? Congratulations, Josa and Sophia. And congratulations, William and Natasha. Bon voyage!
Today is the day. The winning couple is setting off to Paris where they'll explore the city together. This is also the first time they'll be interacting with fans since the show started airing. The fans will be so excited to see their reality idols in real life, especially their particular favorite, Josephine. This is a big moment for our resident sweetheart, but will she impress? Probably not, because I'm not gonna pay for anything. Paris is the most fashionable city in the world and all eyes will be on me. Looks like I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> Oh no, they gave me an outfit? That's cool. Josa, you look amazing. Josa, how does it feel to be the queen of the house? I... Let's see. I'm so grateful for the fans' love. Ooh, another outfit? Over here, Josa. Maybe she's dreaming. Oh, cute. Yep, she was dreaming. I want to impress the fans when I step off that jet and show Sophia that I belong in her world. I'll wear jeans and a t-shirt. I guess this is fine. That shirt does go with Pride Month, so here we go. Josa, are you dressed? Can I come in? Ooh, it's Mateo. I think I had mentioned in the last episode that I was just gonna pick the next person randomly and do that thing that lets you like change their appearance. Maybe? Maybe I'll just leave him. Yes, Mateo, come in. Josa, why is he naked? <laughs> Mateo, it's 5 a.m. Why are you already awake? And how do you look so cute all rumpled and sleepy? You didn't think I would let you go without saying goodbye, did you? He's never spoken to me before, has he? <laughs> why does he care? Uh, aww, is that a hug? I've also got a little gift for you. Mateo, you didn't have to. <gasps> what? He suddenly pulled a beautiful necklace out of his pocket and showed it to me. A necklace? For, for someone you've hardly spoken to? My goodness. <laughs> what? Suddenly I could feel the presence of someone standing ridiculously close to me. Sophia. I could recognize the perfume she wears among thousands. Then she pressed herself against me. This is so creepy awkward. And possessively put her hand around my waist. Toxic? Much? We're late. Um, sorry Mateo, I'll see you when I get back. I'm saying sorry to him because she rudely interrupted. We're not actually a couple. So, I'm allowed to talk to him? That was very possessive. Sorry, Mateo. I'll see you when I get back. Oh, she's so mad. What is that saying again? Money can't buy happiness? <laughs> because it's totally bogus. Damn, Sophia, this is your private jet? Impressive, right? It's true, money can't buy true love or real friendship, but it can certainly help with the happiness department. <gasps> I want a croissant. Driving to the airport in Sophia's lavish sports car and boarding her private jet. She barely bats an eyelid because this is also normal to her. Whereas in comparison, I look like a little kid on Christmas morning. Oh my god. I'm in Paris. Um, what does that say? Bonjour tout le monde? I don't know. I don't know how to speak French. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna say it. Oh. What does that mean? Is she crazy? Um, no, she's just a tourist. What did I say? Did someone know? What does that mean? She's crazy. What did I say? Oh no! What did I say? But I love it. She has a rare vivacity, a joy for life that I find completely irresistible. Sophia, pinch me. This can't be our room. 
This view, this terrace, everything is to die for. Thank you. You know that you're so cute. I never use the word cute, but there's no other way to describe you when you're being so cute. Wow, I'm shocked. You're getting sweeter. Calling me cute? No chance. I'm still the big bad boss. What's wrong? You don't seem very excited. This feels like a cut and paste date put together by people who've never been to Paris. Not the real Paris, anyway. What would you have planned? Sophia looked at me curiously, and I could see the idea form in her mind. I could see her eyes light up as her perfect lips formed into a slow smirk. Why tell you when I can show you? Let's say we ditch the date they planned. And do what instead? I'll show you my Paris. We'll visit the gardens of Versailles. Then we will take a short cruise. And we'll end this day with a romantic dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower. I have a feeling we're not going to be allowed to choose it. We're going to have to pay if we want those. The most beautiful, most special, most exclusive sights this city has to offer, including a surprise that I bet no one on the show has ever done before. What do you say? Do you trust me? <laughs> of course. 29, 29 gems. I've only earned four the entire time I've been playing. No thanks, I don't want to explore. Sorry, Sophia, but I don't think I trust you that much yet. If that's your decision, then so be it. Let's just do the cookie cutter everyday Paris tour and we'll see where the day takes us. Now let's go. All right, end of chapter five. So it really does suck this game not being able to pay for anything and they don't give you much um, ways to earn the gems. I mean, at least I don't think so. I uh, forgot what else I was gonna say. I'm still gonna push through this. There's a lot of grammar problems. The story is a little wonky, but I do want to push through this story. I know I keep talking about it every single video. Like, am I going to finish it? Am I not? I am. Um, I just don't know what, what else to say. Should I? I'm kind of excited that Mateo at this point has expressed interest. Although I feel like we'll end up missing out anyway because we don't have gems. So what's going to happen? Who are we going to end up with since we can't spend any gems? This is going to be interesting. Hope you guys are enjoying I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.